So how do you write good prompts? How do you create good chat GPT prompts? Well, in the end, every good prompt consists of two main elements. And that would be the goal of your prompt and some additional context, some additional information that helps ChatGPT produce a better result, better output for the prompt you specified, for the goal you specified with your prompt. Though this context part could actually be broken up into two separate types of context, two separate types of extra information. Because it is quite common that for many prompts, you add a role to the prompt. So where you assign a role to chat GPT, so that it's not just the default AI assistant anymore, but that it's instead something more specific defined by you. For example, if we want ChatGPT to create a highly engaging tweet, which we can post on Twitter, we could specify a goal that could be write a tweet about hiking, but we could also specify an extra role, typically before specifying the goal. And in that extra role, you can tell ChatGPT how it should behave. Hence, giving ChatGPT extra context, which it will use for generating the result, the output. Now, adding such a role to your prompt is totally optional and definitely not needed for all prompts. Indeed, there are many kinds of prompts where adding such a role simply isn't needed or doesn't make sense. For example, if you're asking ChatGPT who the 16th president of the United States was, you don't need to add an extra role. The question alone is enough. But for some prompts, like this one here, adding such an extra role can make a lot of sense. Now, besides adding such an optional role, you can also add extra constraints or extra information to your prompt. And this is also optional, but highly recommended since adding such extra constraints and extra information makes almost all prompts better. And therefore also makes almost all responses better. And in the end, both roles and extra information or constraints are of course all about adding that extra context, which I mentioned before. For example, here I added a constraint that the response the output generated by ChatGPT should contain no more than two emojis at most and that the target audience are nature enthusiasts. In addition, I added some extra information here where I tell ChatGPT that the tweet it generates should highlight two advantages of going on a hike regularly. As a result here, I get this tweet about the advantages of going on a hike regularly, which only uses two emojis as instructed by me and which clearly targets nature enthusiasts. And that's of course just a basic example throughout the course and throughout this section you will see way more examples, but the general idea is always the same. With every prompt you have a goal and pretty much all prompts get better when you add extra context, additional information, and that extra context, as mentioned, can be added by adding a role, which makes sense for some but not all prompts, and by adding extra constraints or information, which makes sense for a lot of prompts.